Hi guys, welcome to Playa Banao in Panama. I'm gonna backtrack a couple days to fill you in on where we last left off. Um, so last time I talked to you guys, I was in Boca Chica with Fidela. Um, so we ended up spending a couple more hours there. Some guy from the boat on the way back pretty much like invited us to this little hotel place where they have a pool and we hung out there, had some beers, swam in the pool and then headed back to where we're staying in Cucaba. So that was the rest of that day when we went to the islands. The next day we went with our host to Boquete, which is out in the mountains. It's um, a really popular little mountain town. A lot of people go there to visit. Um, anyway, so we went there for the day. The whole week there they're having this Feria del Café y de las Flores, which is basically a fair where um, they have all these flowers that they do a design on, in the ground and it looks really pretty, like lots of different things they design. Um, anyway, so a fair, you go in, they also sell coffee, food, lots of other things. So by the time we got there, it was already later in the day, so we didn't really have time to do other stuff like hiking and seeing more waterfalls and that kind of thing. Getting to check out the town and the fair, um, bought a few things, which was cool. Trying not to buy a lot of stuff, but the Dale said to take stuff back for me if I wanted anything. So, ended up buying a cool necklace that um, a friend of my couch surfing host actually made. So that was cool, and also these um, handmade sandals that are really colorful. So she's gonna take those back for me. We also stopped by a store. Uh, that sells chocolate and things made from cacao. So we got some chocolate from there, it's really good. Um, yeah, pretty much just hung out at the fair all day, walked around town in Boquete. Um, another really cool thing that we got to see actually at the fair was they were doing some typical dancing that they do in Panama, like um, folkloric type of dance. So we got to check that out and they had different age groups doing it. So everything from little kids to like teenagers and older, I would say we didn't stay for the whole thing, but it was cool getting to see that, um, like all the different styles of dance and things they do really pretty with the women wear these white dresses and they twist and turn, it looks pretty. So I got to check that out and then later we went to this place called Boquete Brewing Company, um, where basically they have all these craft beers and stuff. So We've been taking a lot of the public buses, so they have a lot of small little buses. Um, again, being in Latin America, things aren't like so scheduled ahead of time. Usually you just go to the bus terminal or catch it from the road, and they're going by pretty often for the most part. Um, anyways, so they can get pretty packed. The one back from Boquete, we were really squished in um, for part of the time at least. But it's kind of cool to see the difference. A lot of them, they're either playing music pretty loud, like Latin music. Um, sometimes they'll have movies on or music videos, which are really old, usually like 90s or 80s even. I don't know, old videos, funny to watch. Um, people are really friendly though. A lot of times they'll like greet everyone when they get on the bus. And anyways, so just another like, Cool little side note things that I've noticed about here. Um, what else? Another thing, well, Panama is pretty mixed um, as far as people goes because of the Panama Canal. So many people came here from all over the world to help work on that. And a lot of them stayed. And so um, basically the population has become really mixed because of that. So that's interesting. Like you'll hear people that have last names that don't sound Latin at all. And basically that's why. Um, I think there was, oh yeah, one other thing, another thing we learned because our last host uh, was in college, so he was telling us that 
the college education here is free, so another plus for Panama. Um, so yeah, just a few side notes. And then to fill you in on how we got here, um, anyways, so we came here with our couch surfing host. Basically took a couple buses to get out here. And pretty much, well actually, so we took a bus to Pedasi, which is this one town. And then we found out when we got there that the next bus wasn't for like another hour. Anyway, so we ended up hitching a ride to where we are now. It's Dale's first time hitchhiking, so it's exciting for her. Um, but anyways, we found out pretty much that there's not so many public buses running to and from this beach. Um, most people come here to do surf, which is pretty much why we came. I mean, mostly me wanting to do surf, but uh, yeah, it's a huge beach, but there's not much else going on besides surfing, so we came out here and pretty much we heard the last bus kind of heading back was around 4, 4.30, and we got here in the afternoon. Anyways, which means it wouldn't be worth going back because we wouldn't be able to do or see anything. Which means we're actually going to stay the night. So the three of us are staying the night. Luckily we found a hostel that was pretty cheap, half the price of the other ones. Um, so that was unplanned, but with the lack of tr public transportation and us coming out here later in the day, it just made more sense to stay the night. So we might even stay tomorrow night, we'll see. I'm not going to surf today because most of the rentals are for the day and it's 20 bucks. things going on like yoga or different tours and things they offer. 